Hello and welcome back to Alice Madness with Piggies! Uh, yeah, returns, game, things, pigs, pigs! Fantastic. Yeah, so this is the last area, I think, of the Hatter's Domain, and he's wandered off somewhere because he's a bit mad and crazy, and a bit... So he can go do what he wants. In the meantime, we can get shiny things. And burn bits. Oh, oh no, 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 Alice! Behave yourself. Papa, your enthusiasm for photography makes the library smell like rutted fruit. I'm certain these solutions are toxic. They quite well be. They quite well be. On the other hand, they might not be, and it might just smell pretty funky, and you'd be like, Woo, that smells pretty funky. Is that clock leaking black stuff? I think it is. It's kind of weird. Let's just go with it. You know, I gotta wonder who's taking these teeth and what do they say when they pick them up? Like, does Alice look, do you go, Missy, where did you get these teeth? I found them in a box. And I cut some, like, guy's face off and he leaked some teeth too. These crockpits will be our macadam, our road into assemblage. I see. Hurry, jealous. I'll get this door open. Yeah, if you haven't, you know, been too busy, um, what's the word? Taking drugs or going crazy. Throwing a clockwork bomb in combat? Yeah, yeah. Basically it distracts enemies. Press Q. <laughs> really, I haven't worked how to do a clockwork bomb yet. Let the go. Ooh, rabbit. Pop. Ooh, rabbit. Pop. Ooh, rabbit. Doesn't do much damage though, sadly. Whee. We chop them to their teeth. Mm, delicious teeth. Nothing it's because you have no brain. There, well, you've got no brain either. That doesn't help. If I had no brain, I wouldn't be able to talk. Like, you know, it'd just be a sort of a case of. But then, to some people, that's probably what it sounds like. They have no idea what my axe is. They can't work it out. It Mong. Oh no, it's Mr. Abomination. Never mind. I'll deal with Mr. Creepyface first. Oh, Mr. Creepyface. Oh god. Ow. Oh. What the hell? You know, it's rude to throw something at someone and having a fight. You don't just go outside a pub and just throw crap at people, do you? Go on then. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna be all a bit mad, but. Oh! Oops. What's the button? That one. Cool. Throw dodge again. I'm getting good at this. I can just stand there and chop, and there's nothing you can do about it. Hello, I'm this side now. Hello! Pop, 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 pop. Um, go on, move here. Boo! Too busy with an umbrella. And it said umbrella. Huh? It, it did. Chop, chop, chop. Ow! Oh, what a jerk. That's cool. You'd be dead. You done it there, crazy boy. I can't speak a bubble. Wait, what? That was confusing you, then you suddenly did it? Now I'm confused. So if you're confused and you open the door, but I'm confused and I walk through the door, then... <laughs> Brain's gone pop. Whoever said there is no book so bad that something good may be found in it never read Martin Farquhar Tupper's proverbial philosophy. You're right. You're a hundred percent right. That is perfectly a correct statement you can make about that book. I've not read that book, mind you. This feels like an earthquake. What's happening? It's a brain quake. I really look like I know. Your judgment must be severely impaired. That's true. He is kind of crazy. But then so is Alice. So if Alice is crazy and the hat is crazy and the crazy Alice has the crazy hat, but the crazy hat doesn't know, then who does the crazy Alice turn to? This is getting crazier by the minute. Oh well, boing. Tasty. Do, do, do. Oh. Cool. Where are we going? Hmm. I should upgrade the knife, basically. But I'm not going to make that choice. 
No, not when you guys can do it. Ha ha ha, because I don't have to. Oh. Okay. Must be something we have to uh, do. Oh! That makes sense. Boop! Alex, your mind is quite a fascinating place. You ever thought about writing a book? Sort of, maybe titled Adventures of some sort? Or if you can't write a book, maybe you can find somebody who can. Yeah? Ever thought? Hmm? Yeah? See what, see what I'm getting at here? Yeah? Yeah? Alice? Yeah? Yeah? No? No? Alice? No? Alright, fine, jeez. Don't look at me like that. This place is so weird. Even Snake will know what to do here. Ugh, Colonel, I seem to be trapped into some kind of giant clock. Ugh. And then Alice would just come and stab him, probably. Ugh, hold on, Colonel. Some sort of local woman. Maybe I can ask. <laughs> then Snake's teeth would all be missing. And everyone would be like, why are his teeth missing? You see Alice in the back going, 20 teeth, 24 teeth. Mmm, now I can get new weapons. Then they lock her up for being mad. <laughs> You can't trade teeth for weapons. It's not normal. Well, neither this, uh, well, this, let's be honest. Oh, cheers, Hada, I guess. I want one of those. It's welcoming. It screams. Come, sit in the carriages and enjoy a nice cup of tea. Well, I don't like tea, so you can piss off anyway. Take a Pepsi if you got one. We found the source of the shaking, but are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left! You're too the late! The insolence, the arrogance, <laughs> oh. execrable table manners! They are destroyers of Wonderland! Defilers, denuders, derangers! Delightful! It's Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die! Ah! Put me down this instant! I ought to... Stop hanging Let's around! Talk. <laughs> Battle time, Missy! <clears throat> Tragic. I get the feeling there was supposed to be a boss here, that they ran out of time and decided not to do one. So there we go. Abandon false hope. Forget the past. The damage is done. <laughs> wow. Let the madness begin. Resume the folly. It's a shame because that would have made a good fight. I think. Well, you know, Hadder is kind of cool. He did drop a teapot in their heads. Never seen anyone die like that before, you know? No, my precious domain. And the guests. All I really wanted was another teapot. You're not allowed any more tea. Please, Hatter, you promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me, now. There's no time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk trains with Turtle. He ran the looking glass line. <clears throat> Come on, you lot. We can still be friends. I got a fine Darjeeling. Dream, dream. The dead had to leave them. <laughs> my my memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised. Ask the one who helps them what helps themselves. Whoever that is. Ah. Very big. Moron. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea, in ignorance. Oh, the humanity. Darling, did you hear that? She's about to drown in tea. Oh, that's not even Earl Grey. Ah. <laughs> Shocking. Well, that's it. That's chapter one. No bus fights. <laughs> it's fine. To be honest, boss fights are kind of annoying most of the time, so it kind of skips out the annoying bit to go straight to the cutscene. Just nice. Caught me very own river nymph. Who are you calling a nymph? Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways. 
got plans for her. Take her over to the Mangle Mermaid. Rent a bed. Answer <laughs> woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. What do you think you're doing? What comes natural like? Not natural to me. Get away. Yeah, you tell him, Alice. Don't let these big burly men have their way. Ooh, cat. Wait a minute, that's the cat that's going into trouble. Let's talk to the big burly man. Hello? Fine, be like that. Hey cat. The white cat reminds me of my snowdrop. Nanny knew her. Oh, well, maybe we should go see Nanny then, shall we? Let's talk to the big burly man at the fish side first. Yeah, you wanna be out in this muck. Hello, anyone? Hello. 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 Worse, crazy woman here. It. Someone pay attention to me. Fine. On the very you, pay attention to crazy woman. Fine. What's this? No idea what these crates contain. It's the stuff of dreams. Ready? It's probably full of fish, Alice. It's not that exciting. They smell. How do you end up here anyway? The Mangled Mermaid. That sounds like a pleasant establishment. Let us have a fine drink. Perhaps we can have some tea. Yeah, what kind of kid plays with jacks, huh? Hmm. Do, do, do. Mm, what a pleasant looking mermaid that is. I'm sure many a sailor would like to take her home. Hello, fine sir. Why won't anyone talk to me? You, Mr. Drunk Man. Oh, you fucking cunt. Would you just call me? You rude bastard. Where I come from, that would involve fisticuffs, huh? Yeah? Actually, more likely a kick to the groin, but since Alice won't do it, I'll come back to you later. Hello, can I come in? Tart with some rough edges. Likes everything rough, I'll wager. A handsome offer, but I've got an appointment with another man. Well, girl, how hard do you want to make this? You should know that doctor says I have a terrible disease. Yeah, let's just... Whoa. Jesus, lady. Okay, this is obviously the, not the nicest part of town. Paralytic addiction. Hmm. You know, I've seen someone like that last night down the pub. Hello. No, I guess we're going on to the pub rather than the front door. Where's me money, you fucking spunk bucket? Get those fat ass whores out on the street or I'll come up and brain Sort off, you cocker snipe. You'll never get past long Tim. I'll get what you and your flooses owe me, Miss Ladybird. See if I don't. Maybe you notice I'm not pissing me drawers at the prospect. I'm to right. Alice Little. You'll make a nice change. Bring your disheveled self up here. Alice, well, the company you keep is very, very strange. I have to be honest. I'm guessing we're going into the bar. Ooh, horses! Hello? Whoa. Someone hit this one with a dumbstick. Do It's a dirt horse. Never mind. Who do my horse? In we go. Ah, see? A fine drinking establishment. Hello, fine sir. Anyone anyone serving? Like a nice pint of cider, please. Anyone? Hello? Hello, I have money. Well, she does look kind of underage, even if she isn't. They having a fight? Yeah, go on! Yeah, go on. Smack them one. What are they fighting about, anyway? Let's imagine. I think that one said, Oh, mate, you got girly hair, like. And he's like, I don't have girly hair. You got girly hair. And then they start punching each other really, really hard. Yeah, that's what you take, girly hair. No, I'm not girly hair. You are. Ooh. Go on, suck it. Suck it. Yeah. Fine. We'll bet on, uh, we'll bet on the girly haired one. Anything up here? No. 